hello there and welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to cover some of the basics so today we will cover the linear layout that is the basic linear layout or the basic layout so for that we need to go to the xml so that press ctrl and right click on it it is activity main now you will jump to the xml file now by default we have a constraint layout so first let's remove the constraint layout because we will cover the linear layout in this video so basically we have also a control view in which we can design so we can also drag and drop the elements in it but if you are working with the linear layout then don't use drag and drop you can also instead you can write the code so first let's add the tag for the linear layout that is a closing tag all right so let's uh, assume that it's linear layout work like you have a container in which you are going to add some views then in the linear means it will only align in the one fashion that is the uh, either in the horizontally or either in the vertically and you can see the image here that so basically let's cover the basic things so these are the xml and these are the namespace for the android and we have a width and height that is match parent match parent that cover or hold the screen of the your mobile so let's uh, let's discuss about more it now let's first add one text view basically we have two types of the linear layouts that is one horizontal linear layout and one other is a vertical linear layout so in this video we will cover both of the linear layouts that is horizontal and vertical so let's first add one text view in which we will add one text that is horizontal linear layout it's like a heading so that we don't confuse on which linear layout we are working all right give it text size of 20 sp and the color to be black and also add the style that is bold all right so let's align the text in the center so for that add the gravity that is center horizontal now you can see how text is aligned into centrally all right so first of all we need some we need to understand some of the attributes for the linear layout that one of the attribute is the its orientation so for that let's add first orientation that is that is vertical all right now our views will be aligned vertically from top to bottom now let's add one edit text now for the sake of example we will create one sign up and the login page that is basic example now give it a hint hint that is email now copy it and replace it for the password field now replace the hint with the password now let's add one button that is login here give it height of 60 dp and the text is login here and the it's style to be bold all right now you can see we are adding the views and these are aligned vertically but by mistake we have give heading of horizontal so change it to a vertical linear layout because we are working on vertical linear layout all right now you can see the views are aligned vertically now let's add some margin from top on each view that is 20 dp copy it and paste in each view so that there is little space between these views now we're done with it now let's add one more text view for the horizontal linear layout so copy it now replace it now this is how we can reuse it and replace the vertical with horizontal linear layout also add one margin drop that is 30 dp 
now we will now in order to work with the horizontal linear layout we need to define its orientation to be horizontal so add the orientation horizontal now we have take one linear layout now inside the linear layout we take one edit text and its width to be 0 dp and height to be rare content now whenever we have to align two views equally in the linear layout then we use the attribute that is fit copy it and paste it here now you can see these both the edit text are aligned equally with the equal space now let's take one more linear layout and its width to be match parent and height to be wrap content now let's add one edit text now in this case only we have a one child so we are not giving any orientation if we have one more than one child then we need to define the orientation of the views or the linear layout now outside of it let's add one more button that is sign up here now also change its height to be 60 db now you can see our design is ready now let's give it padding padding means it will give space from its all the sides that is left right and top to bottom now let's try to execute it and let's see how it looks like Now you can see this is the linear layout that is the vertical layout and the below it horizontal layout. Let's add some margin from the top in the horizontal linear layout. So go to the in and copy it and paste it here. Let's try to re-execute it. now you can see the output so this is how we can work with the linear layout hope you guys like this video please do subscribe and share and play around with the linear layout thank you